All right, let's talk about log sources. Um, there are multiple ways of adding sources into operations for log, right? Um, for this time around, let's talk about the integration side. What I mean by that is tying in your vCenter, tying in your operations. Um, those are the more common and more powerful tools to add in, right? So let's take a quick look, shall we? So for the vSphere side, right, what you can do is you can actually add in a vCenter, right? So it's the vCenter of your choice, the username and password. Now, the important pieces that I want to call out on one thing is definitely the tags. Because if you're going to add multiple vCenters in, you want to be able to tag it in such a way where you can search it later on, right? Um, for example, what we did was domain equals management, domain equals um, workload, domain equals DR, whatever it may be. It will make it easier for you to say, hey, I want to search for all of the ESX problems. All right, that's across the board. I want to search for um, ESX problems that's in this particular domain. That's where this comes in handy. Now, you could have multiple tags, but at least put a few tags in, or at least put one tag in, so that way you can help identify it easier, right? Um, other things to do is to highlight or check off the uh, collect uh, vCenter events, as well as uh, configure ESX host to send logs to operations for log. You don't have to do this, but it just makes your life so much easier when you're looking and, and trying to identify ESX problem. With that in mind, it will require more storage because as more and more ESX are sending data to your operations for log, you're gonna have to ingest all of that. And then last but not least, you can actually select which log server you wanna send it to. It could be an individual, or it could be a VIP, right? A VIP being the the, um, the load balancer. So that way, it doesn't matter which one it lands, it will land within that particular cluster. For this scenario, we did that. All right, so that's vSphere. Now, the second piece, and, and for the vSphere side, everything is coming from the vCenter into operations for log. Nothing's coming back out. Operations, on the other hand, um, it does a little bit more. We plugged in the operations server. We plugged in the username and the password, right? Now we highlight everything here, right? From enabling alert, uh, content, and metrics calculation. What that means, of course, is when you tie this in, you will see some of the data within operations for log. At the same time, at a click of a button, you will be sent over to your operations server to see the same exact detail now with the operations context, right? And then last but not least, you can send the target to anywhere you want, right? From an individual operation server or a VIP, right? 